All right, so there's a question, uh, do you model your foundation separately? And so that's a, that's a great question. This, this is actually a live project. I think we've been using this a couple times uh, for our last few presentations. Um, if, if I were creating a foundation, I, I guess the, the root of that question comes from, do you need to identify your foundation separately? So are you gonna create a foundation plan? And if you are, then, then certainly I would, I would model in the foundation and then I would put it on a layer like uh, the structure layer, so um, architectural structure. So what you would do for that is um, you would, you'd probably just go into like level one. This particular project, I'll hide level two and the roof. Let's hide all our roofs for now. Uh, what I would do is just go into this floor and uh, maybe what you would do is say, I want to I wanna just copy all of this stuff down. Let's see. Make a copy of that down. And paste these guys in place. What I'm trying to do here is just kind of make a, an outline of my building without having to trace it too precisely. So group that, cut it. All right, so right now we are in our floors. So that's our floors. So I would paste this piece right down in here. And then uh, maybe what I would do is if if this is going to be my, my foundation, maybe I'll just kind of scoot these guys around, make a nice clean rectangle here. All right, and then you could draw like you could draw a line down, maybe uh, oh shoot, I I forget, uh, maybe 18 inches down, and then 12 this way, and then um, 18 inches up, and then let's move out by 12 that way. <laughs> Something like that. Follow me tool. So then you could take this entire thing and put it on your structure layer and then scoot this up. So if, if that's a, an extra piece of your slab, then that's how you break it down. Um, and, you know, I, I, I probably could have offset a little bit and been a little more precise. But basically you would have, uh, you've got your structure here. So when I select this entity, you can see that it's on the layer architectural structure. Um, those are my walls. Let me hide those for a moment. This is my floor. So typically, a floor is more of like a uh, like a floor level, whereas anything that goes on the structure is something that, like what I've drawn here, like a, a footing or a beam or a column. Um, so. That's the long answer with a demonstration, but I guess a very direct answer is most of the drawings that I do, uh, I don't typically create the foundation plan. I would send that to the structural consultant. They would they would do all that, and I would just kind of do the more architectural set. So if I needed to produce that drawing, I would model the foundation separately, but to keep it nice and clean, I would just trash this and just call my floor a floor and not actually get into like how that floor is built to that level of detail. Cool, so then um, on that structure layer, like uh, we've got another project, I think it's uh, downing. Let me take a look at that. Let's get these uh, this chat panel out of the way here, and head to our projects. And we've got this Downing Street project. I think that one's got some beams in it. Um, I forget where we're even at here. Proposed condition C. Been through a couple different design iterations, and let's just look at our interior. All right, so like this this piece, that definitely goes on the structure. Anything that's going to be an obvious beam, if I guess if um, if I were burying that beam, then I wouldn't build it. 
but because this beam is going to contribute to the aesthetics, um, then I, I need to have those in. So that, that beam ends up on the structure layer. So when I select this structure layer, like these guys should be in there too. Um, when I just kind of made those, fake those, and put them into the wall. So again, if, if I were doing like a really um, specific structural plan, and I were going to draft all of the beams and columns and lay out that grid, then, then I would definitely break all these beams apart, all the beams and columns apart, and build that with uh, 2D graphics and 3D objects so I could create my structural plan or my framing plan maybe. <clears throat> maybe. But um, for these projects, I hand off the DWGs to the consultants, and they do all of that drafting for me. So uh, I guess, again, to answer your question directly, uh, structure being anything that's columns and beams that, that is really integral to the aesthetics of your project, or you definitely want to do that if you are going to create that, that structural drawing. If you're not, I find it just, uh, it's just fine to build the walls and not describe further how they're going to be held up. As long as I know they can be held up, somebody else will figure that out.